Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kerbal here, and today we are going to be sending, or this is an actually not a live commentary, so today, or in this video, we are sending, or I sent, a small rover to Duna, and it has a really sad ending to it. But this is well the construction, and I put a small reaction wheel in case it, the rover flipped, but we won't be needing that as the long Oh, and I also made a mistake with the wheels, I took them off by accident, and... Oh, and pull it up, and that more solar panels, put some lights. And I was going to use that giant segment, but there's just, the mic is stuck in the wheels. And so I hear at more little part. And I put solar panels almost like the Perseverance, like, transfer state. You get it. And then, oh, I'm building the fairing, a couple. Oh, I put a poodle engine, and I just, this is basically just a basic rocket. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can already tell, yeah, I put the struts there. However, I did not put the fuel ducts for some reason. Anyways, this is on the launch. Oh, now we're launching. On that little tiny crossfit or whatever, I was planning um, the transformer, but here, we're now at the launch. We're launching up, up, up into the sky. And yeah, just some regular launching. Oh, you may have noticed on launch from the desert. I have the Big History DLC. So, this, this isn't a non-DLC kit curled social run. This is fully DLC. I accidentally launched from the desert. I think it's because I s preset it. Yeah, I think that's why. But yeah, I have the RCS on. I don't think I need. I don't. And I realize now I don't need that RCS. I'm not sure what past Dr. Kerbal is thinking. Whatever. Now, oh yeah, and also I forgot to put the fuel ducts. So I have to make sure all the fueling's correct. So, you know, I don't use the center fuel, center tanks. Because I want to decouple and I, you get what I mean. Launching up, I'm going pretty fast. And oh, and I and I struggled. The rocket's about to tip over. You may have noticed that um, I used the three man engines. I probably should have talked about that earlier during the construction, but I didn't. And oh wait, we're reaching space. Not quite, but we're 50 kilometers above sea level. I don't know about just terrain height. Oh, and the st I stopped the engine so I could transfer all the fuel to the center tanks. See me? It takes a little while because I got confused, like which tab was which, and um, like wait, wait, wait. But no, I'm just. And then uh, I thought I'd do it on its own, and that you know you get what I mean. So oh, and now we're in space, 70 kilometers above the atmosphere, 75. Oh, you get it. We're above the atmosphere. We're 70 about over 70 kilometers above carbon sea level, and I'm right now I'm still transferring the fuel. I can see the both the little taps with liquid fuel for the side boosters are draining quickly. That's because I'm transferring the fuel. Now let's see. Uh, I try to figure out which like engine or tank has more fuel left. Oh, and I ditched them apparently. I think I left some fuel, and I deployed the fairing. But I think I left some fuel, which is kind of. Oh, you can see me here extending the solar panels, so we just make sure we have enough energy. But I'm pretty sure there's small oh, weight. Yeah, the small solar panels won't get much because that giant commutatron did. I'm not sure why I put that giant dish for like a small rover. And you can see me here tinkering with the parachute and deploying it already just in case we have no probe control. And I cut here. Sorry. And I I set up a maneuver node to go into orbit. And now I'm going to orbit. Very sorry for the abrupt cuts. I do The program I'm using to make the videos won't let me. I don't know. Or maybe I just don't want. Anyways, we're getting into a nice circular orbit around Kerbin. And then I'm slowing down and I reach an orbit. I have 18 meters, sec meters per second left on that first stage, which won't make much of a difference because, you know, 18 meters per second doesn't really. Even if even if that stage was fully drained, that wouldn't make a difference. Like, 18 meters per second is not a lot of delta V unless you're doing really precise. Oh, uh, anyway, I'm sidetracking. You can see me here. Yeah, I skipped through. You can see me here setting a maneuver node to Duna. For some reason, I struggle with this. It's like, I, it's like I'm really close, but I have to tinker with a lot. Anyway, so you can see me here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I almost got it. Uh, 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 oh, no. Wait, no. Yeah, I'm far off. I thought I could, like, force one. But here, I'm just tinkering with the enforcing it. Like, you get what I mean. And so here, I'm very close, actually. And then, yeah, I see that red thing, and I, that, like, red orbit, and oh, there we go. Orbit. Orbit. I got an orbit. Not orbit. <laughs> um, an encounter. 
so and I the craft is really big and I have a small reaction wheel as you may see during the construction so I had to use time warp or a physical time oh, I think it's physical time warp to rotate the craft around but anyways you may see me here um going around and oh and then I play with the orbit thing a little I the mouse scroll I messed with that a bit and then but you can see me here orbit 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 we're gonna leave Kerbin's SOI soon but first see that mainsail engine station last for long oh and I decoupled it and the poodle engine roars and as we go and go I do physical time work because I can't wait I'm very impatient with maneuver nodes I don't know why I think it's just a I'm just very impatient so warning to you if you're gonna save a lot of fuel I'd be very patient and I'd watch out for the farm. Let me see here. I'm twisting for some reason. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get the solar panels to the sun, but I'm behind curve right now. And you may see here. I'm going over the maneuver node. And you know why? Because I was searching up the internet on... I was watching... No, I wasn't watching. I was searching up the internet how to get a dinner for some reason. I don't know why. But I did. Oh, and you can see me. I'm struggling to get an encounter. Like, I missed it. I just missed it because I burned too much. So I'm pointing um, retrograde or prograde so I can hopefully get an encounter. And you see those closer approach markers are getting closer and closer so they get farther and farther apart. So I did do some tweaks on the way, but you'll see that later in the video. And then soon we'll crossfade into, I don't know, time warp? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just... Okay, now we're here and we're tinkering and setting up a maneuver node, course correction, to get a nice encounter with Duna, or a close one. We're a gone encounter, I guess, but we're getting closer to Duna, so our trajectory is close to Duna. I want to use an Ike gravity assist, but I'm I'm horrible at gravity assist and Ike's. And for some reason, I can't just figure out why moons won't give me gravity assist. I'm not just professional KSV players. And you can see me here, I set up the orbit, and I time warp. I'm skipping the time warp because it takes forever. You see me here. Tinkering again. I deleted that maneuver note for some reason. And then now I'm here just using the markers on the SAS. Just pushing each one. Click, click, click. So I can get a nice, real close approach to Duna. And you see me here. I set up a polar orbit. Like a polarish orbit. Like it's not polar, but it's sort it as you get what I mean. It's very, it's almost polar. And you can see me here, I did a retrograde burn because I have enough fuel. And then, oh, I time warp here, and there we go. I skipped the time warp because nobody likes to watch it, it takes forever. And then I, for some reason, just stopped here and. Wait, is the footage stopped? No, I think I go to. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just, I think I just had a boop. I just stopped. So you can do a retrograde burn, and look at that nice view of Duna over there. That's a really nice view. Yeah, and if you watch my tiny probe of Duna, at the very last minutes of the video, you get a pretty nice view of Duna and I. Hey, hey. Anyways, I got into an orbit. I just talked to Rambo and over all over that. You see me here? I, I tried to land this rover on one of Duna's poles. Cause, or like, near the middle where like the snow and the regular red land of Duna like meet. I'll try a time warp, but it was physical time warp I was trying to do. You see me here? I tried to do it, and I had to change my inclination. So it also landed on the bright side, so everyone can see it. I'm very sorry that I drew transfer window and it wasn't that bright. I'm very sorry. Okay, you see me here? I talked over everything, didn't I? So I time warped to make sure I'm going the right direction, and I know what direction I'm going. So I decided to do my retrograde burn in the dark side again. I will actually skip that. Or maybe not, or skip the part where I do in the dark side because you can't see. Oh, here we go. I skipped through it and I decoupled. Actually, say, I think I, uh, I don't think I decoupled anything. Now I'm watching the footage right now and I think I'm going to, yeah, see, there we go. I, my parapsis, I think, was like lower than 10 kilometers and I'm now changing the inclination so I could arrow break almost. I don't know what I was thinking, but now I I remember that I wanted to land near where the red... Oh, here I'm saving quick save because I know anything can go wrong. So I'm decoupling it. Yeah, I'll decouple it. Couple. And 
I point retrograde. Now, here you see me um retract the giant antenna. It's good and not. I, I didn't really care about the solar panels. The solar panels were just there in case the phone didn't get enough electricity from the little small solar panels. But here I'm extending it and then retracting it. As I noticed, we're already entering the atmosphere of Duna. So, and then I time warp. And then the solar panels haven't broken. I, I think Duna's atmosphere is really thin. Because I know the last time I did a Duna rover mission. Yeah, everything bur everything blew up. I think that was just me not doing it properly. Whatever. So I'm not entering the atmosphere of Duna. And look at that nice shot. Oh, not that nice shot I was doing. But if you go back if you, to your viewer, you'll see that nice shot. Now, however, I'm entering the atmosphere of Duna. And I'm not going that fast. It looks like, yeah, the I, yeah, I have hadn't had an attack or re-entry. Entering Duna's atmosphere has been really nice for me. You see me here, I'm entering the atmosphere, and the solar panels haven't broken yet, which is very nice to see here. See me here. I think I try to rotate the craft to create enough drag, because I know my, because then I look at the map screen and my trajectory is like, nowhere near this, nowhere near the snow bar. Or am I talking too early for that part? Oh, they extend a um, communication disk because I realized all oh, the solar panels aren't blowing away and being destroyed by the... Oh, yeah, here I'm spinning now. I'm spinning because I, I have this feeling that I'm going to go over the snow part. So I'm just spinning, spin, spin. And then look, I hear it. I'm like, oh, I'm so scared. Of this. I mean, I, even though I have, I, like, I'm still in the snow part. I want to be more in the snow part for some reason. But I'm spinning and then I'll just... And then uh, when you watch this, it'll soon skip because nobody... You don't need to watch this. It just this is gonna be just spinning. It's not no, and I have nothing to talk about the spinning. So yeah, so there we go. Oh, I'm spin. Oh, and the here I deployed the parachute. So I'm gonna jettison the heat shield, and I'm gonna jettison the transfer stage. It has no fuel on it. Yeah, there we go. I jettisoned that, and then got that one. Sorry, I thought it went slow enough, but here we go. I'm slowing down, but you'll soon get a big reveal that it wasn't slowing down enough. Oh, I spoiled. Oh, here we're crossway. And now I'm just editing the lights. I think if you would have noticed, I you would have noticed I put lights on the rover. Just in case in the dark and want to explore the dark, so I have lights. And so I'm lit. And, and you're probably asking why I didn't extend the communicate. Oh, here I'm tinkering with the light colors and such. And those are explosions from the transfer stage and the heat shield. So here we go. Oh, if any guys know know the reaction, well, I have no idea. Oh, here we go. I'm still tinkering with lights. And you're asking probably why? Why didn't I extend the communications disk? Is that because sometimes when you land on the communications disk or anything that can like unfolds and folds, not robotic parts, but like communication disk or solar panel or radiators, they can break hitting the surface or going too fast. That's why I retracted the antenna. Here, I'm just, oh, here, I'm still taking with the colors, but I'm just waiting, because I mean, I'm going really slow. I also put another communications, like, but that's not useful. I'm not sure why I put that at all. I know I have a probe around Duna, but that didn't help, because this thing can access relays, and that thing can't. It cannot hold. Oh, here I'm extend. Oh, there we go. I landed, and something exploded. I think I probably and something exploded in the front wheel. So this rover kind of got useless because I can't drive. I probably should have showed everyone the footage. That I'll sh I'll show it at the end of the video, or, or I'll show another video. Link in the description. Okay, link in the description. Here, taking away the Leo authority so I don't crash. And, yeah, that wheel's missing so I can't drive anywhere. You see it, right? Like, I can't drive anywhere with that. So, this is the sad ending of this Kerbal Swing Program video. This rover never gets to explore. It just sits there. And I tried my best. Like, what's wrong? Why is it happening? And then you'll soon find me eventually just giving up. And soon, some cards will pop up. End of the video is near. Ooh. I'm trying to get nice shots of it, but I don't think. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this curl fish guard video as it has come to an end. Well, then, goodbye, I guess. Oh, don't remember. I'll send you a picture of the, oh, not picture. I'll send you guys the, a clip of the rover wheels exploding in the link in the description. Pay attention to the link in the description. And please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Goodbye.